So, what are we doing today? Well, we're putting diesel in the tractor. I know, it seems like super simple. What could I possibly talk about when it comes to putting diesel in a tractor? Well, let me tell you. I had a friend who uh, brought a brand new John Deere tractor. And uh, it wouldn't work. And uh, we put it up on a trailer, took it to the dealership, they replaced the fuel filter, they set, did some diagnostics, and it came back to the farm. It worked at the time, and all of a sudden it didn't work again. So back on the trailer it went, back to the dealership it went, lucky for them, again with a brand new filter, a pump. You know, they must have been really checking the fuel system at that point. Still couldn't figure it out. Well, they finally got to the, the root cause. And it was algae in the diesel. And uh, I didn't know this at the time, of course. And one day I'm pouring, just like I am now, pouring my five-gallon jug of diesel inside my tank. And I see something that looks like a leaf went through it. And I'm like, how did a leaf get into my closed ga you know five gallon jugs and uh all of a sudden my my funnel was it, it wouldn't process the the diesel through it it wouldn't drain it and fortunately i had a a nice little filter at the end of this funnel and i looked at it in this slimy looking stuff so i pulled that slimy stuff out and i was like what in the world is this stuff well, as it turns out, I had an algae in that, in this five-gallon, uh, gallon bucket, and um, you know I don't think it was in there when I, when I put it in there from the, the diesel store, or you know the diesel the special ag, gasoline place. So in case you don't know, um, there's this special tax exemption you get on a farm. You can apply for it. Um, online which I actually had to call for help it's not as easy as you might think it was like six clicks to, to hell but uh, I got it figured out and I got my special little permit to get the dyed red diesel so anyway um, what you need to do to prevent that from happening is they have this special diesel stuff so this is the stuff that I'm referring to. It's good to 250 gallons, so it's more or less a guesstimation as to how much you need. I just put in 15 gallons worth of diesel, so I just kind of estimate. So when looking at the funnel, it's a large mouth funnel, and uh, you can see down there, there's the filter. And that really saved my bacon when I put that algae, when I was pouring the algae in, because it wouldn't allow me to. And since we're talking about some really basic things, um, they put these very irritating echo nozzles on everything. And I just go and buy these because they're just easier to get on and off when you're filling up at the tank. So that's what we're doing today. And I hope it was helpful. I hope it saves somebody a lot of repairs and a lot of uh, head scratching. And... Um, if you got any value, please uh, share on your Facebook. There's a little arrow, kind of like a swish symbol. Um, that would help me out greatly, along with pushing good advice to other farmers that may not know about these simple but really important things.